what's up this is cute and today's topic is toxic relationships these are those relationships where you feel like you're on a non-stop roller coaster ride where it's just loop-de-loos it's fast and it's slow and then as soon as you get into this sense of security you feel like oh this is a calm moment then boom it starts right all over again and it's not just to say that when you're in a relationship with someone that every day is going to be a beautiful walk through the park with the wind blowing in your hair and violins playing in the background and beautiful roses everywhere. No, that's not what I'm saying because you know that if you're in a relationship that it takes work, right? It's easy to fall in love, but it takes a lot of hard work on both sides to stay in love. So that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these relationships where when you're in them and it's constant, it's like it feels like you're trying to force it to work. And you shouldn't be in a relationship when you feel like you have to force it. That's toxic. It's not good for you. It's not good for the other person. And at some point, you just have to say, um, it's time to move on. And I'm not necessarily talking about those other types of relationships that's toxic and then there's dangerous, which can also have a level of toxicity in it also. I'm not talking about being abused physically, emotionally, or verbally, because that's another topic for another day. I'm just talking about just when two people are kind, they both have good things going on, but they are just not suited to be together. And the more and you try to stay together, the more you are hurting each other. And it's just not good for you. And especially if you have children involved, it's even worse. So... Speaking from my own situation, I was in a relationship with someone for two and a half years. And I was just like, man, two and a half years is a long time to invest in someone and to just walk away. But I'll compare it to this. Now, picture yourself driving down a long road. And while you're on this path down this road, you see a lot of different things. You see trees, you see lakes, you see rivers, you see mountains, you see, you see a lot of stuff. And then you get to the end of this road and you see a mountain. Or maybe there's not even a mountain. Maybe the road just ends and there's nothing there. There's no way to the left. There's no way to the right. There's just nothing. What are you going to do? Are you just going to sit there at the end of the road and say, well, I'm here now. Might as well just stay and hang out here for a while. Don't do that. You have to turn around and go back the other way. And that's kind of like my situation was. It's like two and a half years, you're in it. Do I keep going in this direction or do I turn around and go back the other way and figure some stuff out? No, I'm not going to sit here in this situation making you bad, making myself stressed. It's not good. It's not good for me. It's not good for you. It's not good for my children. And if we were to have children, it most certainly wouldn't be good for them either. And I also think about this. Had I tried to stay in that relationship, God would have never brought me to the place where I am now to meet the person that he had intended for me. So what's better, to stay in a situation that you know is not good or beneficial for you or the other party, or to reevaluate the situation and say, hey, just chalk it up. Um, thank you for this time that uh, I got to know you. Thank you for this period of growth. Thank you for this, this time. Now I have to go and do me and figure me out, and I think you should do the same. There's nothing wrong with starting again. And that's a, what I feel a lot of people go through is the fear of starting again. Sometimes you just got to start again. But don't do the crazy thing by staying in something that is toxic and tearing you and the other person apart just because you don't want to start again. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Don't do that. And you also have to be wise enough to recognize 
when it's time to walk away. And when God is trying to put you in a position where you can meet that person that he has for you. You know, you can't meet the person that he has for you if you're still messing around with the person who's not right for you. So let that person go. Be smart enough to recognize when you have the right person standing or is being presented to you. Because if you miss it, it's very tragic, right? You don't want to let a perfectly good man or woman walk away because you're, you're not recognizing, because you're still spending time messing around with situations that are not conducive for your growth, for a great relationship that you could possibly have. Why would you do that? And that's, that's what I'm here to tell you today is don't waste your time with toxic relationships. <sighs> Let them go, move on, and you don't have to be bitter. You just have to say, hey, that was something that I, I had to go through. I learned from it, and I will not perpetuate that same mistake. That's it. Let's talk.